You probably heard about this yesterday, something called Hashgraph. So Hadera Hashgraph has been announced recently and it's generating a lot of hype. And the reason why it's so popular is because it promises very high transaction speed, so up to 250,000 transactions per second. And if you compare that with Bitcoin or Ethereum, they're almost in the tens, right? 10 to 30 transactions per second. So that's like scale magnitudes off, it's like thousands off. So why is this so popular and what's the discussion topic here? So Hadera Hashgraph actually doesn't use blockchain, which is the kind of funny thing about it. It's not Bitcoin, it's not Ethereum. It doesn't use that technology that makes Bitcoin possible. It uses something that's completely different. And in many ways, it's, people have been comparing it a little bit to IOTA, but Hashgraph themselves, they try really hard to even deviate away from that. They're not even close to IOTA. So let's talk a little bit about what is this whole Hashgraph thing because I've watched quite a few of the, their videos and I just want to summarize in a little bit of summary what they're trying to do. So Hadera Hashgraph is going to be a public ledger. So it's not going to be a private permissionless ledger which Hashgraph was known before. So this is kind of like a completely new open system. This means anyone can contribute to their network as well. What they're using is a whole new dis system of reaching consensus instead of using um, what we know today is the consensus, the blockchain consensus mechanism, proof of work or even proof of stake. They're using a system called asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance. So it's a way for the whole network to vote on which transactions happen first. So this is really different from what blockchain is doing where a block is produced and the more blocks and more confirmation that transaction gets, the better and more confident that we can feel that this transaction has happened. So what they're doing is really fundamentally different and it's a whole new way of looking at things. It's really going back to how to solve the idea of a distributed ledger, how to distribute all that information between all the computers on the network. If this really sounds new to you guys and it sounds like something that's kind of revolutionary, then it is. And right now at its current state, it's still a very in a test net phase right now. So it's still testing its network and trying to get the system working. Another huge advantage of Hashgraph is something called fairness. So for fairness, it means that every transaction that's broadcasted there is kind of fair. And also the transaction order and the timestamps are accurate as well. This also means that unlike blockchain where the transactions get stored in a mempool and the miners decide which transactions get stuck in a block, when a transaction happens on Hashgraph, well, it happens in real time, basically. So the order of the transactions is the order at which they are submitted to the network. And this is a very big distinguishing feature, and it's going to allow some sort of, some sort of distinguishing factors between blockchain and Hashgraph. To achieve this, Hashgraph is kind of using a gossip mechanism. So instead of transferring transaction information, it's sending states to each other and sending kind of this indirect voting procedure to each other. It's completely like, out of this world. And I think I will spend a few extra videos covering what the advantages and disadvantages of this technology is. So at this current state, what you do want to know in summary is that Hashgraph is a completely different mechanism. It's not blockchain, it's something different. In terms of what they're doing is that they've been working on the private permission version of Hashgraph for a while, and Hadera, the public version, is gonna be the permissionless version. They are not an open source project. They're a licensed project. So this is one distinguishing feature as well is that they have a patent on their technology, but what they're doing with the public blockchain is they're allowing anyone to access it and use it, but you can't clone it and make your own variant of Hadera. There will also be a currency for Hashgraph as well. So there's a token, a scarcity token for a network. This is required for all public blockchains because this token ensures that the contributors of the network are gonna be honest because there's an incentive for being the good guy in this space. And that's why there's always a cryptocurrency for a public blockchain. The token is used for their communicating with the network. So it's gonna be op important for opening channels and it's gonna be used as a native currency as well. So guys, what do you guys think about Hashgraph and do you want to do a little bit more research on it as well? I'd love to hear what you want more you want to know and I can hopefully get an interview with the CEO and co-founder as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to click the little subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And also, of course, check me out on Instagram because we got some cool filming locations coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.